Photoshop CS3 tools. Adobe Photoshop is an image editor which provides us with various useful tools for editing and retouching an image. Painting tools. Brush tool. Brush tool works like traditional drawing, applying foreground colors with smooth brush strokes of different thickness and shades. Follow these steps to select an object by using brush tool. Open any image of your window. Select the brush tool from the tool panel or press B. Choose right on the corner. Now click the brush preset picker which helps you to modify the size and hardness of the brush. Click on foreground color box in the tools panel to revert the color. The color picker box appears. Select the desired color and click on OK. Draw the brush strokes with the desired color. Color Replacement Tool Color Replacement Tool lets you paint roughly over an area of the image. It replaces the existing color of an image with the foreground color. To use the Color Replacement Tool, first open the required image. Select the Color Replacement Tool from the Tools panel or from Brush Tool. It is the third tool under Brush Tool or press B thrice with Shift key. The cursor changes into Color Replacement Tool icon. Choose the appropriate foreground color from the Color Picker or by pressing Alt key, select the color from the Picker tool. Drag the mouse over the portion of the image where you want to replace the color. The image will be painted with the new foreground color. Spot Healing Brush Tool This tool is used to correct imperfections like small blemishes, dark spots, scratches, etc. from images. To apply Spot Healing Brush Tool, open the image to be repaired. Select Spot Healing Brush Tool from the Tools panel or press J. The cursor will change to Healing Brush icon. Keeping the left mouse button clicked, roughly move it over the blemished area to get it repaired. The image will be corrected and small blemishes, dark spots, scratches etc. will be removed. Clone Stamp Tool The Clone Stamp Tool is used to create a duplicate of a portion of an image. It first selects and samples an area of the picture and then creates its clones. To apply Clone Stamp Tool, open the required image, select the Clone Stamp Tool from the Tools panel or press S. The cursor will change into Clone Stamp icon. The size and the hardness of the tool can be changed from the context menu. To define the source point, Press the Alt key and click on the part of the picture to be cloned. Click and drag the mouse at the place where you want to create the clone. The clone will appear on the image. Keep repeating to make more clones on the canvas. Smudge Tool This tool gives an effect to finger painting by smearing the paint on the canvas. To apply Smudge Tool, Open the required image, select the smudge tool from the tools panel or press R. Choose the brush, mode and strength option as per your requirement. Drag the mouse over the areas where you want to apply the smudge. Image will be converted as figure smudged picture. Dodge tool. This tool is used to lighten the dark areas of the image. To apply Dodge Tool, open the required image, select the Dodge Tool from the Tools panel or press O. Choose the desired brush and hardness from Brush Preset Picker from the options. Specify the values for range and exposure from the options below the menu bar. Click and drag the mouse on the desired area of the image to lighten the pixels.
image will be changed to light one. History brush tool. This tool is used to reveal the initial state of the image when opened in Photoshop. For example, if a colored image is made black and white, then on the image, wherever the history brush tool stroke will be given, it will become colored there again. To apply history brush tool, open the image file, select the history brush tool from the tools panel or press Y. Set the desired options from the options bar, Latin size, number modes, opacity, etc. Paint with the brush to get the desired effect of the image. Type tool. Type tool is used to add text in an image. By default, the text is typed in horizontal direction. To apply type tool, click the type tool or press T. Select the parameters of the type tool such as font style, size, color, bold, italics, etc. from the context menu. Click on the image where you want to insert text. Type the desired text. Click on the check mark button on the context menu to stop text editing. Your text will be pasted on the image. Warping text. With warping, we can put the text in the image with different shapes and styles. To apply warp text, first select the type tool and type your text. Next, select the text and click on create warped text. From the style option, Select your desired style. Click on OK. Place the text at your desired place with Move tool. You will observe that your text will be changed to stylish text. Viewing tools. There are two viewing tools, Hand tool and Zoom tool. These tools help in fine-tuning the image. Zoom tool. Zoom tool looks like an old-fashioned magnifying glass. It lets you magnify or reduce the display of the image window. By default, the Zoom In option is selected. To enable Zoom Out option, press Alt key. While the image is zoomed in, you can move the image by holding on the spacebar and dragging it with mouse. To apply Zoom tool, Select the Zoom tool from the Tools panel or press Z. Choose Zoom In or Zoom Out from the Options bar. Click on the area of the image to magnify or reduce. Hand tool. When the picture is zoomed in with the Zoom tool, it is too big and at times cannot be seen all at once. The hand tool moves the image within the frame of the window. To apply Hand Tool, select the Hand Tool from the Tools panel or press H. Click on the spot of the page. Hold and drag the mouse to move over the area. You will observe that your image will be shifted a little bit. Layer Layers help to arrange each element or object of an image at different levels. They are individual slices of information that can be stacked or moved to complete the image composition. We can draw, edit, paste and reposition an element on one layer without disturbing the other elements of the image. When we open an image in Photoshop, it is in single layer. We can add more layers to it to add more components. Creating a new layer a new layer is created when we paste any object in the image. Select Layer, then New and then Layer option. The New Layer dialog box appears. Define the name of layer in Name box and click OK. A new layer will be added to your image. Renaming a layer. By default, the layers are named as Layer 1, Layer 2, etc. We can rename any layer by double-clicking on the layer name in the Layers palette and type a new name. Or 
we can select the layer in layer panel then select layer from the menu bar and click on rename layer deleting a layer to delete a layer right click on the selected layer from the pop-up menu select delete layer option confirmation dialog box will appear press yes to confirm the deleting your layer will be deleted